you're a new DevOps engineer in my team, all right? We are a small product team in a large engineering organization, and you find out that in order to scale, we have to redesign our CI CD. So the first thing you start doing is to start searching for some co corporate standards or some sort of toolbox that you can rely on, some, some common practices or some stuff like that, right? It's common sense. But all you find is that every team seems to be doing its own, its own thing. Everyone is doing its own thing. So you have to start from scratch, from network configurations, from firewall openings, from very, very scratch. So our scaling is delayed. We have a problem. So, but it shouldn't be like that. Mankind has enriched the level of evolution of today by reinventing the wheel each time we have to, you know, use something. And um, why should it be different than for DevOps? On the contrary, we reuse, we build on top of existing knowledge. Historically, technological uh, mass adoption has relied on these principles. So again, why should it be different for DevOps? In today's world, companies that claim to have adopted DevOps should also have found a way of scaling it. That's a reasonable expectation in my opinion, but why is that? Let's review three facts. On the one hand, DevOps is a mindset. You know, we're talking, you build it, you run it. More collaboration, we work together, less of this is my stuff and this is your stuff, but you know, we are end-to-end -end responsible. Second fact is that this DevOps approach is enabled by tooling. There is a thick layer of code and knowledge there that not to, is not to be underestimated. It's a lot to do. And this brings me to the third fact. There is very usual a lack of ops experience in devs, in teams, to take care of that thick level, la layer of code that I was talking about. And so it's a lot to know. It creates a lot of, you know, overload in this cognitive capacity of the team. And uh, the goal at the end of imp implementing such a DevOps approach is to optimize value delivery, right? That's why we do this. We want to optimize value delivery. So it's common to find, in order to fulfill this, these um, structures in organizations of, you know, product teams that are uh, like stream aligned teams, as Matt was saying, focused on delivering uh, value to customers, and we have also platform teams focused on delivering value to these stream aligned teams or product teams. They really help the, the, the product teams to make the value flow. And depending on the size of the organization, it is always necessary to have at least one platform team if, if it's big enough, you know, the engineering organization, because they will enable, enable the DevOps in general. It's an enablement. Um, so you should read that book, definitely. I have been completely uh, guided by this, so you won't regret it. I'm not going to advertise it anymore, but it's really good. <laughs> um, I've also brought you some statistics. It's interesting to see how this platform engineering approach has been developing as a key trend. So I've been taking a look at some studies from Gartner and some other international consultancies. I brought you some two very interesting statistics. For example, by 2025, 95% of enterprises will fail to scale DevOps initiatives if shared self-service platform approaches are not adopted. And I can see why. <laughs> by 2027, 75% of organizations will have switched from multiple point solutions to DevOps platforms to streamline application de delivery. So I felt that. You remember the story from the beginning? My team was stuck because we didn't have a platform approach in the company to, to rely on. But luckily, things are now moving in the right direction, so I'm positive for the future. Um, the platform engineering approach is more than a hype. It's really, it's a necessity. It's the only way that I, in my opinion, the DevOps approach at all can scale, in, especially in large engineering organizations. My name is Diane Palacios, and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.